it's me, TFT, and yes, we are back with another street food review, guys. Today, we have come to the very, very popular Stockton's very own Red Pepper. This place has become very, very highly recommended to me by local food reviewers. These guys have been in the trade for 40 years. Four decades, and they were the first ones to introduce the square pizza to Teesside. So we're gonna be trying out their square pizza. I've also been told they do one hell of a Parmesan. We're in Teesside, so we thought why not try out their Parmesan as well. Service, lads behind that girl counter have been fantastic. They've given me permission to do the review in the shop. Okay guys, let's see whether or not the red peppers are really all that they say they are. I right think guys, here we are. We have arrived at Red Peppers and we are about to try. I know we've come for the squared pizza, but we're gonna be trying out their Parmesan because this is another one of those Parmesans. Uh, it's supposed to be the hidden gem for the Parmesan. As you know, Parmesan is very, very popular in Teesside. Teesside is the home of Parmesan. So, uh, look at them chips. <laughs> wow, these chips are double fried, okay guys? But look at the size of them. One thing I will say about this place, guys, I've come in and the guys who are working behind the counter, everything is done with precision. Uh, the potatoes are weighed out, put to a side, the dough is fresh, the chicken is fresh. They even took the time out to take me around the back and show me how this place works. They've got a five star hygiene rating as well. I usually start off with the palm oil first, but the chips look that amazing. I'm gonna try these first. Extraordinary them. Double fried. He did say to me, these kind of chips he will not get anywhere else. And I can tell you now, I don't think I've tried a chip like that before. It's got a nice crispy outer, but the potato filling on it is absolutely massive. Fresh cooked potatoes, not your frozen type. And you can tell just by looking at them. Look at the color of them. Put them down here. That's the bad boy that we're gonna try out now, the palm oil. First thing I'm looking for is consistency. You can see the chicken. Look at that. Perfect, perfect layering. Wow. One more bite of that. One thing I will say is the breadcrumbs, when you go to Manjaro's, the breadcrumbs are gonna be fried and they're gonna be more of a crunch. These breadcrumbs are a lot more lighter, they're a lot more fuller, uh, and they're not as heavy as what you would get at the likes of Manjaro's. And the sauce, the white sauce is perfectly balanced with the cheese as well. Sometimes you can get too much white sauce, not enough to, uh, cheese on top of that, but that is perfect. These guys are open from three o'clock till 10 o'clock, seven days a week. They're not on Just Eat, they're not on Uber. If you wanna order off these guys, they've got their own website, order off there as well. Now then, we're gonna move on to their square pizza. But let's take a look at the pizza. Oh, mate, take a look at that. That looks absolutely creme de la creme. Look at the amount of chicken on there, everything is perfectly balanced. It's, it's, like a, it's like a work of art, guys, it really is. When he pulled the pizza out of the oven, oh, the way he stood with that pizza, it was like it was his own creation. It's like an artist gets impressed with his own artwork. And I get the feeling, because their father's here helping out as well, and I get the feeling that the father, who's been in this trade for 40 years, is very, very passionate about food. Now what we're gonna look for, guys, is the good old cheese pull. We're going for that cheese pull there, yes. Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Plenty of cheese pull on there, guys. Oh, yes. yes. That there is a classical, classical square pizza. 
the door is soft however there's a kick on them on them toppings they're very very strong the chicken strong the peppers are strong the cheese is strong quality quality ingredients let's take a bite of that crust with that chicken on because that is what tft is interested in the tomato on it as well is very very strong and it just lifts that pizza off into orbit take a look at it guys i will be dropping down their website i'll be dropping down the address the prices the menu in the description box as i always do but for the time being just admire this bad boy absolutely amazing now finally we're going to be trying out their sauces the chili sauce is what he said to make at home homemade chili sauce and you can tell that that is being made at home oh yes as I pull out my yes it's got a kick on it that's for starters guys but I don't think I've tried a chili sauce as cool and as refreshing as that that may sound a bit silly first bite is cool it's refreshing it's more or less like kidding you kidding you kidding you and then right at the end you get that massive kick like that dr martin kick you used to get back in the days of them skinheads back in the day if you're watching this here has got a bigger kick than what you gave me back in the day guys have a look at that fantastic moving on to the garlic sauce guys now the garlic it's nice it's creamy fantastic amazing absolutely majestic sauces to go with that pizza sometimes you can get a decent pizza and the sauces might let you down however it's been fantastic quick rundown guys for me by far the best chips that we have tried on the channel okay um, double fried nice thick home cut perfectly nice color on them as well nice crispy golden brown color pomo for me guys now this is a very very delicate one the pomo for me is a fantastic kind of pomo it's got a different kind of taste to what you probably get at manjaro's manjaro's pomo's a lot crispier but they're a lot heavier once you've had a couple of slices you feel weighed down this pomo here it's like a light pomo you probably i'll probably polish that off and i'll probably still be able to run a marathon that's how light and fluffy and how refreshing that pomo is okay moving on to this is what we came for guys the square pizza I've been very 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 impressed fantastic guys uh, when it comes to a score I'm gonna be considering the price paid the service it's a massive 9.6 from me guys by far probably on par with the parmesan that we had at Manjiro's that's a 9.6 from TFT uh, I just want to say guys love and respect for supporting the channel if you haven't watched my channel before you're watching for the first time don't forget to drop a like share and a subscribe uh, only one more thing left to say to everybody in stockton uh, all my thousands of followers at home watching you guys have all officially been food troll certified and me i'm a tenor iron brewer we'll see you for the next one